variations but this could be quite confusing also when you have hundreds of terms pertaining to any service correct which one should be optimized for your web page and which one should be ignored or how do you make your website rank for all those variations is a very big question now correct right so that is what we are going to solve today yeah This is all done. We have discussed all of this. Okay. So the first and the key part in the on pages allocating keywords to your web pages. So your website might have hundreds of web pages, right? Which must be speaking about different uh, products, different services, about people, about information. It can be anything on your website, correct? Correct. So if you take example of packers and movers, we understood people are searching packers and movers in Bangalore, in Hyderabad, in Chennai. People are searching packers and movers near me, packers and movers in HSR layout, in BTM layout, in Marathali layout. People must be also searching how much it costs to shift a 1 BHK or 2 BHK, correct? Or people must be researching which is the best or reliable packers and movers, right? Correct? So now when you are doing that, you come, you came across various kinds of terms, right? So mostly, so these keywords, what we do is, see, when, when you see uh, hundreds of keywords, see all these hundreds of keywords might belong to one page only. Correct? About one product only. A mango can be searched in 100 different ways by people. Correct? Now, which keyword are you going to optimize for the web page? Uh, so, don't use traffic term. So, traffic is final outcome. Traffic is the number of people coming to your website. So, we use search searches. Searches, not all the searches will come to your website. 1000 people must be searching by mangoes. But of which only? 100 people might visit your website. These 100 people are referred to as traffic or visitors to the website. Okay. Right. So now, but then, so if you're focusing on the first five keywords, which has got potential or searches, how about the remaining 95 keywords? Not boom in the feature. So you have the responsibility of ranking your website for the remaining 95 keywords as well. Okay. So that is a small trick in it. A simple understanding will help us to achieve that okay so before that I'll show you how uh, websites will uh, rank for few thousands of keywords I guess I have shown this to you all as well earlier okay so let me show it to you all again So this one topic, this one web page or this one article is ranking for few hundreds of keywords. Just only one article, right? If you look at this, people are searching for Kent versus Aquaguard, Aquaguard versus Kent, right? The simple thing is in the article, we must have probably used this one and this is triggering this as well, correct? Now, this keyword alone must be triggering some 50 keywords or 100 keywords. We don't know. If you are focusing only on Kent versus Aquagod and Aquagod, Aquagod versus Kent, two keywords are covered. Ideally speaking, instead of covering this, after covering this, you could have straight away switched to this keyword, which is better. The difference, difference between Kent and Aquagod, comparison, right? See, people usually what they do is they just mix and match the same terms. Buy mangoes can be written as mangoes buy or mangoes online can be written as online mangoes, right? So we used to come across these kinds of mix and matches. I mean, like mostly with the, most of the businesses, this happens. Like for example, Airtel mobile recharge, recharge Airtel mobile, yeah. mobile Airtel recharge. It's mix and match. Just the order of the terms used would change. So your goal should be here, recharge should be compulsorily covered. 
And if we take example of any other business, uh, like maybe this one only, right? So AquaGuard, you are speaking about the differences between Kent and AquaGuard, right? So you have to cover the difference between Kent and AquaGuard, comparison versus which is better. If you cover these four variations, probably these four or five variations will cover 500 other variations. Using this, there will be a mix and match. But what people do, unfortunately, they will focus Kent versus AquaGuard, AquaGuard versus Kent. Yeah. Yes. See, see for them, see I am trying to compare two people. Whether you use his name first or his name first, it doesn't matter. For me, the final thing is I want comparison between two people. I am comparing between Shailesh and Shreyas. Correct? Give this two switch to Shailesh and Shreyas or Shreyas and Shailesh. It doesn't matter. The goal is to distribute the switch to those two people. Correct? Now what happens, your article will obviously show up. If people are searching what is the price of Kent water purifier, then it may not rank. Because you have given importance to the comparison and this article is all about the comparison. So you can cover comparison, differences versus uh, which is better. Four or maybe if you, if you look explore further, if you research further, you might find five or six terms. If you cover the six terms, your article might rank for 600 variations or 1000 variations or 2000 or 3000 variations also. Right? So, especially when you have hundreds of keywords, so your main focus should be coverage of different variations such as difference, comparison versus which is. Instead of every time difference between Kent versus AquaGuard, Kent versus AquaGuard, AquaGuard versus Kent. Correct? I will show you the, we might find such keywords. Yeah, so maybe uh, let's take this example, content writing companies. Let me, uh, let me take it here. Okay, so let's assume there are keywords like, or by by mango offline mango offline by mango offline in Apia So in your keyword research, you must be finding keywords like this, right? Mango buy online, right? Order mango online, mango online order, mango online shopping. Mango offline. See the number that I am mentioning here are the searches. 
the number of people searching every month just roughly i don't know the actual number of searches Any other variations? Huh? No, not by name of the mango. Just let's search in mango. Okay. See, uh, you guys were telling that. See, ideally speaking, see, first thing, so we'll go back again. So the first step in your SEO will be understand all the URLs pertaining to your website. It could be the product, service, information, or any other pages on your website. This will help you to allocate the keywords effectively. Effectively on the respective web pages. Correct? Helps you to plan the keyword allocation and guides you on the in-depth keyword research as well. Allocating the keywords for each web page on the website. So we are telling that from hundreds of keywords, consider picking all the patterns. These patterns can trigger your hundreds of keywords and show up your website on search results. Right? Identify the secondary patterns and make a note of it. Arrange the keywords in the descending order based on the search volumes. I am going to explain that. See, first thing, some time back you guys were telling, see, uh, you you... You cannot have, see, I have just taken 14 keywords here as an example. Let's assume there are 1400 keywords here, right? So now your logic was, you are going to consider whichever has high volumes, correct? Yes. Whichever has highest number of searches. If that's the scenario, which all keywords are you going to consider? Tell me from this list. 10,000, yes, correct? 9,000, yes, correct? 7,000, yes. So let's assume you cannot have more than five to six keywords for a web page, right? Or maximum seven keywords. So now yes, 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 yes. And 6,000 is also yes. 5,000 is also yes. How many are yes? One, two, three, four, five. One more keyword. Yes, six keywords. But this is wrong. But this is wrong. See, if you observe these keywords, you have just covered only online and online mango is your product your product has been searched by people like buy or mango online maybe something like this mango online I'll write it as 7500 this is not even yes because you are intended to go with only six keywords correct yes, sir. and you would only go with this keywords correct your page is very well eligible to show up for order mangoes, mango shopping, purchase mangoes, best mangoes, best price mangoes, online purchase, something like that, correct? So your focus should not be only on the search volumes. It should be a combination of search volume plus intentions or patterns or variations. So for example here, you have covered buy and online. But you also understand that your mangoes are also, also searched as order shopping. It's not just buy online, correct? People also search. See, buy and online has six variations or maybe you might have 60 variations. So one of these keywords. So for example, I'll use this keyword buy mango online. Okay. If I'm using this keyword or maybe using this keyword, this keyword itself will make all other keywords trigger this keyword triggers all other keywords yes, sir. yeah sir uh, you are saying that uh, by uh, by mango online by mango we are getting 10,000 as the volume as the, and when i do this 11 i am getting all, online order and shopping mango as well so the volume is less for that <coughs> how can i consider this i'll come back see your first thing is your primary goal is you have to cover all the keyword variations uh, yes correct Second thing is you have to give importance to you, the keyword which has highest number of searches. Exactly. 
So if you look at this buy mango, we are going to pick one keyword from this list of six keywords. I have picked this, finalized this, finalized this, and I'll be ignoring all other keywords here. Okay, so this will be my pick. One keyword has been picked from the list of 40 keywords or 500 keywords. This will be one pick. Let me take this comma and another keyword. If I have to pick another keyword, order mango online. Probably I would pick this keyword. And like this, there will be some 20, 30 keywords. And then I want to cover order this keyword. I'm not going to touch mango online shopping. I'll pick one more keyword. Right. Maybe book is not there. I would pick book. Book is not quite often searched or let's assume that has less searches. So now another keyword I would pick is purchase book mangoes online. Mango near me. Or let's assume there is a keyword book mango near me. Okay. Let's assume this has only 100 searches. Still, I'll be picking this keyword because this keyword and this keyword is subset of this keyword. You all understand what a subset is? Okay. So now I'll pick purchase mango online. And best price is also not needed. Let's assume we have keyword best mango online shopping only 50 searches. And I would pick that 50 searches keyword only. Why? Because everything else above this is a subset of this keyword. You understood now if you could effectively see earlier you had picked only this keywords if you are picking only this keyword your web page will not show for order online uh, sorry shopping purchase near me book correct best price see that's why I'm picking keywords such that regardless of their volume so it's not regardless of their volume actually if you deep dive into it so the keywords which has highest volume like buy mango has highest volume 10,000 searches but the keyword that I have picked has only 6,000 searches, correct? Yes. Obviously, these all are subset of these keywords. Now, ideally, thinking or considering or assuming this is equivalent to 6,000 plus 10,000 plus 9,000 plus 7,500 plus 7,000. Let us see. Mango online. Correct? Because buy mango is there. Buy Mango Online is there, correct? So when you pick this keyword, this keyword now shows your web page for just Buy Mango, just Mango Online, Mango Online in India, or maybe some other location, correct? So we call these terms Buy, Online, Order, Shopping, Book, Near Me, purchase best some of this are the patterns okay so we are going to split them as primary patterns and secondary patterns primary patterns are the patterns with highest purchase intent buy book order shopping correct secondary intent mango price price best mango not benefits benefits is Low intent, high intent, medium intent, and low intent. Primary patterns for web pages, any business page, it could be a product or it can be anything. So we call them as primary patterns and secondary patterns only. Intentions also, I'll tell you what is an intention. Okay, so you understood how to pick the keywords. Now using these keywords, we are going to. So not only these keywords. Let's let's pick some secondary patterns as well. See for me, buy online, order shopping, or secondary patterns primary patterns because intention is clear intention is clear they have intention of purchasing it clear with this term when they use buy mangoes correct how to grow mango there is no buy intent how to grow is they are looking for to cultivate mangoes correct correct so so we call that as intention. The intention is basically in the keyword or in the term 
that conveys or explains what they are looking for. Buy conveys that their intention is to buy. Correct? Intention. What is the intention in the keyword? Intention is to buy. Mango price. Probably intention is information here. So, but then there are 50-50% chances when people search mango price, there is certain amount of intention. Of the 100 searches, 50 people must be looking for to buy. They are researching it as a price because they are intended to buy. There are good chances that the next stage from these people would be to go and buy. Correct? So, I'll take a different example now. Digital marketing course, digital marketing training, digital marketing certification, digital marketing institute. All these are training course, institute, certification or primary patterns. Now, digital marketing career. Career, digital marketing future. Career, future, digital marketing syllabus. These terms are research based. But then if you deep keenly observe it, what do you understand from this? They are in the research phase, but most probably they are, most likely they are going to register for digital marketing training. That's why they are researching how is the career. Yes. Digital marketing salaries, job opportunities, job opportunities, salaries, careers, future, syllabus, all these are secondary patterns. Yes. Correct? A keyword with a clear intention is a primary pattern and with the intention where they might there is a probability, certain amount of probability here. They might purchase a product from you or might not. They might register or may not. That is secondary pattern. Okay. And we call that primary pattern as the uh, high intent. Secondary pattern as the medium intent and low intent. Low intent such as uh, what is digital marketing? Correct. Or which is the best career? option see you are just selling digital marketing courses which is the best career option can never become a medium intent or high intent for you correct yes. they are researching which is best career option and then this article you must be explaining 10 different careers the chances of they registering for your courses very low now correct yes. what is the meaning of digital marketing correct they are probably they are probably looking for, uh, uh, they must be already student. As a student, you might search digital marketing, something related to digital marketing now. Correct? Yes. You, since you have already registered, there are no chance of you registering again somewhere else. Yes. Correct? There will, like, what is digital marketing? What is CTR? What are impressions? Somebody who are searching what are impressions, will they become your customer? Though it is related to digital marketing, yes. this is categorized as low intent. Usually the keywords will be categorized as high intent, medium intent and low intent. So in some cases, we consider medium intent keywords optimization as well for the web pages. Right? So such example is, now you have buy online order shopping. These are all primary patterns. Secondary patterns could be maybe something like best price. Wholesale. So I took digital marketing example, right? Over there, it's quite easy to understand. Digital marketing syllabus, career, future, options, salary, jobs, companies, hiring, all these are secondary patterns which you can cover on your web page content. Correct? You understood now how to pick the keywords. So secondary patterns, we usually try to incorporate them in the content but not in the titles and descriptions. Uh, so most most of the times using a uh, few keywords itself will cover all your five to six keywords maximum seven keywords itself will cover your hundreds of keywords okay. everything could pick up subset of your this five keywords or ten keywords that's what we try to understand now I have picked a keyword buy mango online in India and remaining this five are subset of this correct yes Correct. So too many keyword speaking uh, is not necessary. Mix and matching. It looks like a keyword stuff content. So that might create certain amount of hurdles in developing the content. When you have too many terms forcefully. So, so what happens usually using these keywords, whichever we finalize using, we try to incorporate them in the content right now. When you have too many keywords, what happens? 
a writer has to you are going to inspect them wrongly now make sure that you are incorporating all the keywords they have to incorporate but when you have too many Some what happens this room can hardly fit 10 people or 12 people if you forcefully try to push 100 people how suffocated Definitely. the environment is going to be and your page web page also might look like that for search engines or your readers Yesterday we were going through some pages, backers and novels. Have you seen that how many yeah, keywords yeah, were incorporated? Yeah. It's of no use to the end user. That might probably irritate in some business or in some cases. That's the ugliest uh, activity that you could you should avoid actually. Right? So why unnecessarily your main goal is to cover all the variations you have covered? Why do you want to simply put all the garbage? Correct? You have only one small container. Correct? You you have an option to carry something worth than the garbage as well. Will you prefer to carry the garbage? If something worth is fitting in it, fine. You just go with it. Just because it's coming for free, you prefer to have it in this box only now. Correct? Yeah. Secondary patterns be like near me, best, top. You see this? We have taken an example. Okay? So this is the first thing. You understood right how to pick the keywords for the web pages? And the second step is using those keywords, we are going to write meta tags. Meta tags are highly crucial because they are the one which are going to show on Google and play a crucial role in CTR. Look at this now, I have just typed brand optimization. <coughs> one second guys. Hello. Okay. So now, now see, look at this. When I search for brand optimization, you see, uh, this is written. This is written well. You see, well is not about the length. Written well is about relevancy. Written well is creating interest for the end user, right? Let's assume you all are searching brand optimization. You are keen to learn brand optimization, correct? So now look at this, there's so many brand SEO optimization details. So now if you observe this, it's just two words. And this space can be utilized properly. And this space can be utilized to incorporate a CTR trigger. Brand optimization, everyone should know or, or a must know things about around brand optimization would probably make people to click on it. Yes. Just showing brand optimization could be neutral sometimes. Sometimes, but not really motivate people to click correct yes, sir. right so now hence we have to understand how to write effective titles and descriptions okay and uh, one more thing so I have a very good example around uh, uh, very well explained around writing titles and descriptions you need to know about yeah best tips or instructions in writing the SEO meta text probably we might have that article link also here yes we have it Okay, so you have to follow some of the instructions here. The meta tags are the crucial details or information for the bots of search engines and browsers. Based on these details, the search engines understand quickly what the web page is about. Are you all following me? Yes, sir. These are the details displayed on the search results page and play a crucial role in the CTR. These are the details displayed on the search results play page and play a very Crucial role. I'll put a screenshot of this as well. Okay, so this is the title, and this is the description. Yeah, so if you want me to put the text, I can. Title. Which is title? This one is title, and this is actually meta description. So, why? What is the meaning of meta? Meta is basically he hidden. Meta indicates it's hidden, which is pertaining to the third point.
yeah okay how do we write effective or quality meta tags see this meta tags play a very crucial role in ctr okay the major part of the role will be played by these titles and descriptions in improving the ctr and you all know the importance of ctr correct right hence they have to be highly effective right so your meta title should always start with a high volume keyword high volume keyword so from the list that we have finalized here we realize that this is the highest volume keyword and this is the second highest third highest fourth highest fifth highest so you have to always arrange your keywords in this order that is descending order descending is highest to lowest, lowest. you have to arrange your keywords in the descending order and you should always start with high volume keyword sir is it through the title or the description huh? title You cannot put all the keywords. That's what we are going to learn or understand how to incorporate that. Yeah. So your meta title should always start with the high volume keyword. Make sure that you cover all the primary patterns in the title. This that's why we restricted not to have more than five keywords. Yes. If you have more than five, also based on the volumes, you are going to incorporate some of them in the uh, description, whichever you have missed in the title. But in the title, you cannot afford to lose on high potential keywords, right? It's it's. as simple as this let's assume in front of school there is a bakery and the school has 10000 students or 10000 kids of this 10000 students 7000 students like cakes 2000 students likes ice cream and 1000 students likes chocolates correct now this bakery owner had told to his manager he has to grab the attention of as many students as possible right now in showcase which product should he display to grab more attention more people attention cake, cake. why cake is been 7000 people are interested in cake hence you prefer to display cake, cake. correct so people don't understand this logic sometimes they start with chocolates so they try to display it in display chocolates in the showcase right so now ideally speaking what we have to understand is how can we display all three of them see if you are displaying only cakes you will be losing out on other 2 3000 3, audiences correct yes. of this 3000 maybe 100 or 300 or 500 more you might still attract without even displaying chocolates and ice creams correct yes. if you are displaying only chocolates let's assume you will grab attention of 1000 people how about remaining 9000 of remaining 9000 people you might grab attention of some 500 people hardly 1500 people if you are displaying only ice creams you will be grabbing attention of only 2000 and additional 500 probably maximum 2500 why can't you ha have all three displayed so that you grab attention of all 10000 people correct that's when your ctr also will be high right yes. right so that's the reason why we try to fit in the high volume keywords in the title that's the reason we follow this priority high volume keyword first in the ascending descending order and we try to use the same in that's why we are suggesting always use high volume keyword in the title when it's a bakery selling all these three items cakes ice creams and chocolates it will be super important to prioritize cakes because 90% or 70% of them are interested in Cakes. So, you might miss out on see. There are chances of you missing out on some audiences, and don't take a hit on high volume audiences. Take hit on something that's lowest search. But still, we have strategies or uh, approaches or guidelines of covering all of them. We will be exploring all of them. How do we cover everything? Okay. So the length of your title should not be above 70 characters and try to keep it less than 70 characters so that's basically pixel value 512 pixels or something okay so usually between 68 to 70 characters can be used that fits in 68 to 70 characters will fit in 512 pixels in case if you are using special characters let's say dollar that might take more pixel value you might have to limit it to only 50 characters if you are using dollar semicolon comma see that's what the next point is saying use appropriate delimiters such as pipeline 
full stop hyphen avoid usage of semicolon underscore comma this is plural for apostrophe and double quotes in the title okay that's i guess uh, just apostrophe i guess not plural apostrophe in the double co and double quotes in the title which typically might take more pixel values and you might have to and, and this might have impact on the character count right right this would lead to would lead to text truncation text gets truncated and in turn hits on ctr what is text getting truncated i'll show you yeah look at this there is something very interesting ctr trigger let's assume just because see now the problem here is they have written one full sentence completely if they had used one delimiter in between they should not write a lengthy sentence like that so it, 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 it could be probably less than 70 characters but still got truncated because it's one full sentence this has got text getting truncated right so let's say they have very crucial information here probably this would have made people to click on it just because it got truncated people cannot see it just because people are not seeing the key information they may not feel like to click on this results there is a hit on ctr correct yeah so that's why use appropriate delimiters right and do not write lengthy lengthy sentences or sentence in one stretch without using the delimiters without it's not about without using the delimiters in one stretch try to try to break down the try to break down to short sentences right so we yeah, look at this in depth brand optimization they have used a delimiter column a comprehensive guide something like this they are trying to break down the sentence instead of writing like this or like this very lengthy and this is another problem another hit for brands in 2021 which year is this so probably let's assume this article must be ranking in the top few years ago and eventually that went down because of this negative term in it 2021 would have been the highest uh, ctr triggering element in 2021 eventually the importance of it come down correct see that's another reason that why people write updated text updated article that's what makes people to click on it they are always looking for up to date information correct this is the strategy mostly used in news articles or maybe any information articles or contents are you all getting it yes sir yeah so we 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 are discussing this in detail i have given you the example right bakery example the same thing is been explained here i guess yes puff chocolates ice creams hardly this is how they grab attention case to the scenario how they are uh, grabbing the attention yeah it's been explained using different examples so sample shortlisted keywords so trying to incorporate all the primary patterns in the titles and descriptions so in the description we have guidelines for the description we will try to uh, do the title also right so what was our example we had taken some keywords right yes sir 
maybe my title could be as simple as this buy mango mango online in india i'll use a pipeline okay order now to your door steps door steps a single term two two words right order now to your door steps let's assume it permits few more at best price probably how many characters is this 69 column 69 characters it is within 70 characters right so what is my goal cover by online india see india this is habitual uh, thing actually uh, back to a decade when people search for something to buy online they used to see websites from other countries so search engines were not that advanced right that's when people started using in india in india they wanted explicitly somebody selling it in india they wanted explicitly a website that's selling on in, in bangalore they are searching for something and a website from hyderabad pops up they, they don't have the patience they don't want to buy from hyderabad or some products they cannot buy it from hyderabad because by the time they travel they will perish correct yes, so that's when people started using in bangalore in hyderabad in chennai in mumbai in india in australia in canada right so that's how uh, this all came into picture hello started with you sorry just now yeah yeah please Shall I shall I call you back in the next five minutes? I am in the class right now. Okay, okay. I'll call you back in the next five minutes. Okay. So you all understood how to pick the keywords and how to write titles, right? Yes, so you need to have see one more thing. There is a focus on uh, keywords, but there is no CTR trigger here. What could be the best CTR trigger for mangoes? when you are planning to buy mangoes online what would be your expectation for about mangoes it can be anything and you have to understand what is the most important thing when they are buying mangoes what is the most important expectation the most important expectation from people hello hello comes by ಸುದ್ದೇಶ so uh, so now what is that most important thing the, the highest priority expectation somebody would be see if you are registering for training what would be your expectation so the market is going to be placement and the other person takes the placement then what is your expectation uh, one lakh one quality quality of the like how we can you know that's what quality is what you are trying to but measuring is different thing we put it across how you are going to measure it right you are expecting placement what else online what the things you can provide and what they are doing what they are doing so people try to give away something that's not needed something that's cheap or something that's of no use garbage usually those things <laughs> okay so when they don't really have the core uh, thing to be given okay okay so coming to the mangoes what would be the expectation sir availability availability yeah i think they are no 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 see it's available that's why you are able to order on the website like what the quality is so sweet so sweet price so yeah price Lowest price set the people price. would be price obviously by default it price plays a significant role in every country and in india it's to the highest level right 
price obviously so if you don't have anything the best thing that you could do always is lowest price yeah. correct and, uh, so uh, best price or lowest price that's what we have written best price that can act as a CTR trigger and we are not telling what is that best you want people to come over there first thing second thing on the web page we might educate them how good we are with our service our credibility we must be selling several tons of mangoes every week that itself would influence people oh, correct sweet the taste of the mangoes chemical free. chemical free right these kinds of things can become CTR yeah. triggers yeah. It's important to have CTR triggers in your titles and descriptions. Your but description is not I'll tell you. We, we are about to get on to the description. Here is the description. Look at this. Yeah. All the missing patterns and the secondary patterns can be covered in the description. In description, compulsory have a call to action. Have a call out statement. Right. Keep the character count within 170 characters. Separate the statements with appropriate elevators. It applies to description as well. Do not write lengthy statements. It applies for both titles and descriptions. It has to be within 170 characters. Right? You need to use call to action. What is call to action here? Order now. Book now. Buy now. Explore now. Read now. All these are call to actions. Correct? And you have to use the call out statement as well. What is call out statement? A call out statement is any statement that helps the user to make the to take the call to make the decision take your call on what basis you will take the call you will start now studying or comparing both whichever is best for you you will go with that correct so as a business you have to help them to take the call right any example so for example apple comes apple phone right They'll come to the market and they will say, you don't have to charge the device for the next three months. You can continuously use this for three months. Right? Some other phone comes, front camera, 1000 megapixel. Nobody beats them. So this call out statement could most probably be the product USPs. You, what is USP? Unique selling proportion of your product. USPs. Correct? What is your USP? So, so <laughs> the product USP can be a call out statement for the end user to make the decision or to take the call. That's why it's called as call out statement. Call to action is we are directly calling them to take the action such as slap him, kill him, beat him. Right? Here it is. Buy now, order now, book now, schedule the call, schedule the meeting, right? You understood? Yes. Sir. Yeah. So, and one more thing in the, we, we have missed out. So, people use some special characters in the description such as tick marks, uh, heart yeah, symbols, uh, yes, yeah, something else just to grab the attention, okay? So, if you have to incorporate tick mark, there is an HTML value or the number for it, ampersand hash triple zero four will give you a thick tick mark in the titles and descriptions. Maybe I'll show it to you if I can show it to you on some website. This will also make people to click. So look at this real time projects, practical labs, expert hands on sessions. You are incorporating a tick mark. Now this tick mark takes many pixels. It's looking like only one character tick mark. Yes, sir. Correct? But if you observe it, it is ampersand hash triple zero four. This itself must be taking a lot of pixels. Yes. Correct? Now from 170, you might have to shrink down to 150 characters. So people will say, you told 170 characters and I have written 170 characters. Now tell me why it is why is it getting truncated up to here only? Why is the text getting truncated? So they lack this basic understanding, obviously. So I told, <coughs> that's why in the lift you must have seen people read, write it, they will write it smartly. Four people or maximum 200 kgs no. or 300 kgs. Yeah. If only one person is weighing 300 kgs, only one person has to go in the lift. 
they have to consider one of them right not both the criteria you told four people so i have put 300 kg is four people and we are not fitting in the lift we got stuck in the lift right okay so you all understood right so these are some of the call to uh, call out statements in the uh, description pertaining to content writing services 100 percent plagiarism free people look for unique content no copy pasted content high quality content highly engaging and converting content price starts at just 20 pesa price is also a call out statement for people right yes yeah sorry it works for price would work for most of the businesses except for the luxury uh, things see when it comes to there are certain kinds of products people may not care about the price when it comes to healthcare industry the ailment can be cured in just three days price no matter when you write it gets cured 100 percent cure 100 percent hair fall stops hair fall reduction that's why you must have seen red shampoos will they ever speak about price dandruff free hair fall free no air splitting no dry hair right for different industries it's going to be different that's why you have to use your intelligence as well apart from the guidelines that we are learning here correct you need to have the product understanding we are not going to discuss all the products as a case study here we are just discussing one example as mangoes or maybe the content writing services why are we taking these examples this should trigger your thought process and that should get applied for any kind of categories or business or industries that you're going to deal in the future okay so we'll wind it up for today and uh, we'll continue yeah tomorrow